Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make car slamming from the clouds, or 3D clouds transition effect very easy in After Effects, let's begin. First I will move my clip for about 1 second forward like that, cause here will be the actual transition and it will be 1 second long, you can make it longer in case 1 second is too short, but I think 1 second for this transition is fine. To make that transition we will need a clean background of our clip, and to make it clean and smooth we will use Photoshop, so let's scroll to the very beginning of our clip and then go to composition. Now save frame as and click on file. Click on output here and save that Photoshop file somewhere you will find easy. Also let's name it background. Click on render here and then jump to the folder where you have saved it. Let's open that Photoshop file. In a Photoshop, select a remove tool and remove the car from a background. Make sure that the image is all clean and once you are satisfied with the results, right click on your image here and select export as PNG. I will save it in the same folder. Now close Photoshop, cause we won't need it anymore, then drag and drop that image into your AE timeline. Cut the background layer now, and here we have a clean and smooth image that we are going to work with. So, first let's create new camera layer. Make sure that the type is set to 2 node camera and the preset is 35mm and then hit OK. Cut camera layer as well and then make sure to scroll to the end of it. Now enable 3D on background layer and then expand camera layers transform settings and click on point of interest and position stopwatch icons to create default keyframes. Press U on a keyboard so we can see only created keyframes and then make sure that those keyframes are at the very end of a camera layer. Now scroll to the very beginning of a camera layer and select a pan cursor tool. With a pan cursor tool, drag your camera all the way down until the background layer is all the way down like that, to keep the image in the center while dragging it down, hold shift on a keyboard. If you play the video, it should be like that. The very first step is ready, and now we will need to fix those black edges, on background layer, apply motion tile effect. Check mirror edges and change output height to 320. It's fixed, but if you play the video it will look weird, cause it has created mirror like effect and to make it less visible, we can apply a blur effect. Make sure to scroll to the beginning of a background layer and apply directional blur effect. Bump up blurriness until motion tile effect is less visible and then click on blur length stopwatch icon. Then scroll forward something like this and change blurriness back to zero. Let's check it. It's not enough, at the very beginning of a layer, I will bump up blurriness a bit more. Also I will move second keyframe further near to the end. That looks a bit better, I won't lose the time on fixing it, cause we can come back to blurriness a bit later. So, now select all camera keyframes and press F9 on a keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor, right click here and select edit speed graph and make a smooth curve. Let's quickly check it. Looks fine, and now we can drag and drop some cloud PNG images. I will use that one, I have downloaded it randomly from Vecteasy for free, check this video's description, I will leave a link there. Let's drag and drop cloud image into AE timeline. Cut the ending of it as well and then I will move it below camera layer and enable 3D on it. Let's grab the cloud and move it all the way up like this. Now press S on a keyboard and make it smaller. Then I will reposition it randomly maybe somewhere here. Let's duplicate it now and place duplicated one on another side. I will also make that one closer to the camera by dragging Z position. Duplicate this one as well and then position it somewhere here. Note, I position them all randomly. So make sure to take your time and place cloud images on your wish. Let's scroll forward now and duplicate the last cloud layer. I will move duplicated one down somewhere here. Let's quickly check what it looks like. Looks fine, so let's duplicate the last one and simply do the same thing, I will speed up this part cause here is nothing special or hard to do. Once we are done with placing the clouds, we can animate them just to make things better. Scroll to the very beginning of the layers and select the very first cloud layer, then press P on a keyboard and click on position stopwatch icon. Now scroll forward a bit and then drag clouds out of frame like that. Looks fine, but I will move second position keyframe a bit further to make an animation a bit smoother and longer. That's better. Now select another cloud layer and simply do the same thing. I will animate only three of my clouds and leave the rest as default. Looks amazing. Now select all cloud and background layers and enable motion blur on them. Looks really cool, but as I have mentioned, we will need to fix direction blur on a background layer, I will bump up blurriness to around 200 and let's check it one more time. Looks way better. 
So the clouds part are ready and now we can make a car slamming effect and we are done. Scroll to the beginning of your main clip and then duplicate it. Make sure you are at the beginning of a duplicated one and then right click on it. Go to time and select freeze frame. Drag that layer all the way to the left side and then cut the ending. Let's pre-compose that froze layer. I will name it car only and then make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. So now we will need to isolate the car from a background. But first I will solo car only layer so I can see it and then let's select a pen tool and mask out the car as smooth as possible. Once you are done masking, make sure to scroll to the end of a car only layer and press P on a keyboard. Click on position stopwatch icon to create a keyframe and then scroll to the very beginning and move the position all the way up. Now select both position keyframes and press F9 on a keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor and make a smooth curve. Let's quickly check it. Looks fine, just make sure to enable motion blur on a car only layer. Now on solo car only layer and then move it above background layer and let's check the transition. And we are done, but to make it look more finished, I will add shake effects from my pack and we can check it one more last time. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. Looks amazing, if you enjoyed this easiest transition effect, please like the video and let me know in the comments if you want more of 3D tutorials, thanks for watching and see you tomorrow.